my name is Kat and today I'm going to do my birthday book haul. Okay, so I have over 30 books to haul and I didn't want to edit one big video so I'm breaking it into two parts. Part one is going to be the books that I received as birthday gifts and part two is gonna be just the books I got myself in the last month and a half or so. So yeah, starting with the birthday gifts, I have 19 books to show you so let's get on with it. So first up I have three books from Christine Mokanu. I think that's how you say your last name, I'm not sure, I apologize if I'm doing it wrong. First she got me Throne of Glass by Sarah J Moss, which I have already read and love. She also got me The Eye of Minds by James Dashner, which is just so shiny. Shining, shimmering, splendid. You can see this from space. I still haven't read anything by James Dashner and I've really been meaning to and this actually sounds like something I might enjoy more than The Maze Runner so maybe this will be my first James Dashner book, we'll see. And the third book she got me is The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. This is a book that I have almost bought for myself on numerous occasions. Really the only thing stopping me is that the trilogy is not not yet complete and it's going to suck after I read this one in book two and then have to wait for book three to even be announced with a release date. But yeah, I have just been wanting to read this book for ages and I've heard nothing but amazing things about it. It has a reputation of being one of the best fantasy books of all time, so yeah, I'm gonna be reading this one real soon. So yeah, thank you again, Christine, for these three wonderful books. I enjoyed the one that I read and I'm very much looking forward to reading the other two. Next up, I have a book from Janine Jans. John? I'm so sorry. I'm so bad with names. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But anyways, the book that Janine got for me is The Selection by Kiara Cass. This is another book that I have almost purchased for myself on numerous occasions and the only thing stopping me is the fact that the trilogy is not quite complete. The final book is coming out in May so it's only a couple months away now and yeah, it's about time I start the series so gonna give it a go. So yeah, another thank you to Janine. I'm really looking forward to getting into this. Next up, I have two books from Ferdinand. So first, I have The Beginning of Everything by Robin Schneider, and there goes my white balance. Mmm. Who needs it? Who wants a visually appealing picture anyways? Let's just have this. Oh yeah. How to booktube. I've heard many good things about this one and I've been wanting to read more contemporary books lately so this is a great fit for that. In the included note, Ferdinand says that this is a must read for John Green fans and that it's full of Harry Potter and Doctor Who references and I'm sold. I gotta read this book. And the other book he got for me is Attachments by Rainbow Rowell and um, again, there goes my white balance. My white balance, who needs you anyways? I do, actually. I would like the white balance to come back, be white again. Aww. This is yet another book that I have been meaning to get my hands on for ages and I am just so excited that my hands are on it and I can read it now. The note that Ferdinand sent with this one says, Warning, do not read in public, may cause random fits of giggling. And yeah, that sounds about right. That's like Rainbow Rowell's signature move, is to make you laugh like a crazy person in public and then people think you're crazy. Can't wait to read. Once again, Ferdinand, thank you so much for these. I am super pumped to get to them. Next up, I have two books from my lovely friend Katrina, aka Little Book Owl. So first up, I have Stolen by Lucy Christopher. This is a contemporary YA, which as I mentioned, I wanna get more into. Although this is actually a darker, edgier kind of young adult contemporary. It's about a girl who gets kidnapped and this book is basically a letter to her captor. And the second book she sent to me was was Living Dead Girl by Elizabeth Scott. This one is another kind of darker, edgier, contemporary young adult novel that also focuses on a girl who was kidnapped. Are you trying to tell me something, Katrina? Are you gonna kidnap me? Is that what's going on here? Once again, big thank you to Katrina. I am super excited to get to these books and I'm looking forward to all of the paranoia I will develop in the weeks following them. I don't want to be kidnapped. If I do get kidnapped, I am leaving a note for the police to check on my subscribers 
because one of you guys is gonna kidnap me for my books. I just know it. Next up, I have a book that was sent to me from... I have no idea. I don't know where this book came from. I don't know who sent it to me. I don't know how they sent it to me because it actually came from Book Depository, not my wish list. So I'm not sure if this person has my address or what's going on there. There was no note or anything and I haven't gotten any tweets or messages saying like, hey, I sent you a book. Did you get it? So I don't know who sent this book to me, but I have it. And it's Knots and Crosses by Mallory Blackman. I I actually hadn't even heard about this book when I first got it, so I read the back and I looked on Goodreads and I discovered that it's actually a fairly well-known book. At least it was a couple years ago, and more so overseas than in the United States. But yeah, it actually sounds like the kind of book I would really enjoy, and I'm looking forward to reading it, even though I don't know who sent it to me. So yeah, if you are the one who sent this book to me, please let me know so that I can thank you and also ask you how you got my address and what's going on with that. Do I need to be worried about kidnappers? Because I haven't even read those other books yet. I'm already kind of worried about kidnappers. And I don't want to be kidnapped because I can't be away from my books that long. I just, unless you take me and the books. No, that's gonna put too many ideas in your little heads. I'll just kidnap Kat and her books and she can live in my basement and we'll be best friends and we'll read together all the time. Actually, if there's Wi-Fi, I'm down for that. Next up, I have two books that were sent to me from Jesse H. First up, I have The Blue Sword by Robin McKinley. I am so ashamed to admit that I have not yet read a Robin McKinley book, even though I've heard amazing things about her fantasy novels, so yeah, excited to finally get my hands on one and to read it soon. And then she also got me A Matter of Magic by Patricia C. Reed, and this is actually a bind-up of two novels. The first novel is Marilyn the Magician, and the second one is The Magician's Ward. And I'm actually not sure if it's a complete duology or if there's more books in the series. I think it's just a duology, but Either way, I got two books here and I'm excited to read them. Thank you so much, Jessie, for sending me these books. I've actually been on a fantasy kick lately, so this is right up my alley these days. And oh yeah, I'm excited to read them. Thank you. Next up, I have three books from Paul Morris. He sent me a trilogy and it is The Word and the Void trilogy by Terry Brooks. Book one is Running with the Demon. A Night of the Word is book two. And Angel Fire East is book three. I've heard a lot of good things about this trilogy, mostly from Paul, because he's been trying to get me to read it for a very long time now, and now he's gotten me the book, so I'm gonna have to read it. I'm actually pretty excited to read these, because not only is it a complete trilogy I can marathon, but it's also fantasy, and I've been wanting to read more, like, epic fantasy kind of stuff, so yeah, I think I'm gonna enjoy it. Paul says I will, so hopefully I will. But yeah, thank you again, Paul, for sending these to me. I hope I love them as much as you do. Next up, I have three books that were a gift from Richard, and he actually sent me another complete fantasy trilogy, and that is the Mistborn trilogy by Brandon Sanderson. Like I just said, I've been in kind of a high fantasy, epic fantasy mood lately, and this is just... Oh, this is what I want to read. I just recently watched Brandon Sanderson's lectures on creative writing and I loved them, so I really want to read something by Brandon Sanderson. And then Reagan of Peru's Project has been raving about this trilogy and it just, it really makes me want to read it a sap. So I'm probably gonna. So yeah, thank you so much, Richard, for sending these to me. I'm super excited to get to them. And finally, I have two books from Tori G. And she went ahead and sent me Eon and Iona by Alison Goodman. This is a complete duology and like so many of the other books in this haul, I have just been wanting to get my hands on it for ages. It's a high fantasy series with dragons and a kick-ass female protagonist who has to disguise herself as a boy and I just love that trope so I am all over this. But yeah, huge thank you to Tori for sending these to me. I will definitely be marathoning these in the near future. Alright, that is it. Those are all of the books I received as birthday gifts this month, and that is everything for this haul. Once again, I want to give a great big thank you to everyone who sent me a birthday gift. Thank you. Sincerely. Truly. Thank you so very much. 
I really appreciate it. And I also appreciate you, you person watching this video. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a great night and I will have another vlog up soon. So I will see you then. Goodbye. And part two is gonna be the books that I have obtained. Part two is the part where I learn how to talk. JK, that never happens. A whole new book. A dazzling book. Holy shit, I'm blind. You see my camera in my reflection. And my umbrella is a bundle. I hunch I should stop now. You guys would actually be surprised at the amount of times I have to tell myself out loud to stop. Just stop. Stop.